Hi there, and welcome to this video on A-level chemistry for the AQA specification, focusing on the topic of group 7, the halogens, and in particular, the uses of chlorine and chlorate ions. Hi, I'm Manisha from StudyMind, where we help you to revise A-level chemistry with our helpful revision resources tailored to your subject, your specification, and to you. If you're new here, please make sure to click that subscribe button, and whilst you're watching, please leave any comments down below about anything you're unsure of. If it's your first time watching, make sure to let us know so we can send you our free revision resources. We also have helpful timestamps to guide you through the video. Welcome to lesson 2 of 2 in this tutorial, covering the uses of chlorine and chlorate. This is the second video in our series of two lessons on the topic of halogens. Here are the key learning objectives for today's lesson. First, we will look at the reaction of chlorine with water. Then, we will look at it with sodium hydroxide. Here are the AQA specification points we'll be covering in today's tutorial. Feel free to pause the video now and have a quick read through them before we begin. We'll start off with the reaction of chlorine and water. If chlorine is mixed with water, chlorine will undergo a reaction known as a disproportionation reaction. This is a reaction in which a substance is oxidised and reduced at the same time. A mixture of both chloride and chlorate ions will be formed. Chlorine is oxidised from a state of zero in Cl2 to minus one in Cl minus. It's also reduced from a state of zero in Cl2 to plus one in ClO minus. We can see that overall in the equation, the oxidation state of chlorine remains as zero. Now let's look at forming chloride ions. When present in sunlight, chlorine will decompose. It will form water going to chloride and oxygen. From this, we can form chloride ions, hydrogen ions, and oxygen. Next, we will look at the uses of chlorine in water treatment. Chlorine is used in the form of chlorate ions in order to kill bacteria. This is used so that we can drink in and swim in water safely. This equation is one that you should know for the formation of these ions. Now we will look at the advantages and disadvantages of chlorine in water treatment. It's worth us pointing out here that the benefits of adding chlorine to water will outweigh the toxic effects. Let's go through a few of them together. We can use it to kill off certain bacteria that we wouldn't want in the water, but it's also a toxic gas to humans. It can cause some irritation in the respiratory system and it can cause chemical burns if it comes into contact with the skin. However, it is good because it stops the growth of algae whilst removing smells and the bad taste from water. However, it can form a compound called chloromethane if it reacts with certain other compounds which are commonly found in water. Finally, one of the best reasons to use chlorine in water is that it prevents the reinfection of the water supply by staying in the water for a while. This is useful as it can be quite expensive to keep treating water all the time. Finally, we will look at the reaction of chlorine with sodium hydroxide. When chlorine gas is mixed with cold, dilute, aqueous sodium hydroxide, 
sodium chlorate solution is formed. This is more commonly known as bleach, which can be used to kill bacteria in kitchens and bathrooms at home. We can also use it in water treatment or to bleach paper and textiles. Chlorine will also undergo a disproportionation reaction. This is because it simultaneously reduces the zero from Cl2 to a plus one in NaClO and it's also oxidized from a zero in Cl2 to minus one in NaCl. You can see the overall equation here where the oxidation state of chlorine is still zero. We've now covered all the learning objectives for today's lesson. Feel free to skip back through the video and re-watch anything you feel unsure about. We've now completed lesson two. If you liked this video, make sure to catch our latest videos by subscribing down below and leaving a comment on a topic that you'd like to see a video on. Click here to watch more videos on our series of A-level chemistry or visit our website, studymind.co.uk, for past paper compilations by topic and specification.